and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today we'll be doing like all of my physical TBRs that I have not yet read. Let's get going. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to see like what kind of books I have not yet read. I'm pretty sure I have some and then some. And yeah, but the problem is my books are kind of all over the place. I have some here, I have some in my closet. Ignore my closet state. I am currently in the process of cleaning it, so like it's a lot better than it was before, but um, we're getting there, so excuse my mess. <laughs> and then I also have some books down here, because I might, yeah, I have no room anymore, but so I might actually reorganize my bookshelf. So instead of like how it is now, I might like kind of flip them over so that they can be stacked. Like, I don't like this layer, but is it practical? Not really, but it is really pretty, so. I'm gonna start to let it go, but if I want more books, I gotta make, you know, some space. So, or me adjustments, I should say. So, let's see what we got. <laughs> okay, first off. Also, I do want to point out that I am not counting my September TBR, because that is currently in the works. So, for that reason, I am not counting those books. So. First off, we have this guy in here. To... <laughs> Um, it's a measuring tool. I think it's like to make sure like it's something is straight or whatever. Let's just go with that. Um, so what have I not read from the first shelf? I think I pretty much read everything. Um, except for this one. I did not read this one, but I'm pretty, I did read Dance of Thieves as an audiobook, I believe. So, I don't know if I'm gonna read this book actually. I feel like the top shelf will actually fall on me so let's just close it for now. But yeah I don't know. I was thinking about it maybe if I'll read it. If not it is what it is. So oh and it is really pretty. I love the spine. Okay but moving on. And also this is not from the shelf. I found it on my dresser. I'm the sacrifice I have not yet read. I'm kind of doing this for like a book of reading, so which is why I'm saving it. But I may want to read this because it looks promising and really fun. So, okay, what are behind these books? I think I read most of what the book is in front of here. So we have we got Lamanoff, which is a retail of Anastasia. So, it was okay. Oh my god, I'm too short. <laughs> It was okay. I think there were some things that were kind of like, that didn't really make sense. <laughs> so. I'm pretty sure I read most of it. I have to climb. Okay, okay. I did read more everything on this show. And I did have to cut out the part where I'm struggling to reach the books, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm short, I know. Also, I think this is also like the tale of... Oh my gosh. This is the tale of the um, Dracula, what's his name, Vlad the Impala. So it says right here. Um, yeah, this is it was a fun adventure, like the, you know we're talking about like the original Vlad the Impala that got inspired by Dracula that we all know. Actually, let's just take this book away. <laughs> I know it's gonna fall. It did happen to me once. <laughs> I almost hit my head. Okay, so now here, again, I almost read everything except these two, Pandora and the gown. I think this is the book about how Queen how the dress for Queen Elizabeth was made. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth the second stunning gown from her wedding almost 70 years before. So I still want to read it. I think it looks fun and really interesting to see what, what kind of Thoughts and details have been put into the dress, so it's always fun to read those kind of things. But yeah, I'm sorry if I'm so close. Um, this is what my setup's gonna be, <laughs> but yeah. And oh, I did, almost forgot about this book. I did not read this book yet, so that's pretty much it from the shelf. I feel like I should have given out this book away. I remember not liking it. Okay, down here with my purple blue shelf. Um. Right off the bat, I have not been... Did I read this book? 
No, I think I should did invent this book, but I think I invented it as like a fit, uh, audio book actually. So I mean, technically I still read it in a way. This was given to me as a gift from, from my Secret Santa at work, so thank you Secret Santa. <laughs> We have like that every year for Christmas, so I think it's fun. Like we're actually a small group, which is why we're. Oh my! <laughs> As I was. <laughs> okay, that just closes for now. Um, but yeah, we have a small group, so that's why we're able to do a secret Santa. But I told you, I told you, it will fall. The red shelf always falls. And there isn't that many books in there. Ah. <sighs> Where was I? Um, I did not read that uh, Rebecca yet. I don't know if I ever will just because of certain themes, but I really want to get to it. I really do. So maybe this year I will read it. Who knows? So yeah, I kind of want to read like more classics this year. Um, let's see. Yep, I pretty much read everything here. Don't let them burn, wild scene. Yeah, I definitely read all of them, except for that Rebecca. And I definitely see some books that I can unhaul again, so that's exciting. <laughs> okay, I don't have a good session. So down here, um, wow, I, oh, no. My new is, oh, I actually didn't know it. I was about to say I didn't read anything from this shelf. Let's just close this book. <laughs> book? That shelf? Oh my gosh. So this is my newest edition. If you watch my conference vlog, you will know where I got this. And I have not yet read these two, so... I don't know what I'm waiting for. An invitation? Probably. Yeah, and again, this is my newest edition to this shelf, and... I have yet not read. This was meant to be part of my... July TV on? I think, but obviously I didn't get to it, so there's that. Okay, so these guys are in my language. Um, I believe this is the third book in the Ash Princess trilogy by Laura Sebastian. So I thought I thought this was the first book, and yeah, no, <laughs> nope. And then I actually read the first book as an audio. I think I hated it, so now I'm kind of stuck with this one. And this guy, I actually don't really know what it's about. I think it just takes place in Russian because there's Moscow. So, I really don't know what to, you know, how to explain it. Um, my English translation is not the greatest. I sometimes I find it difficult to translate it in other languages. So, bear with me. <laughs> okay, and my pink shelf, we got two books that are not yet opened because I recently bought them and then this is the one I got from the conference so I should be reading it uh, but um yeah wow that was way too close I'm so sorry and again conference vlog it's uh, my love and hate relationship with this book um I don't know why I keep reading book talk books I know when I'm not gonna hate them <laughs> help me and you see, I have not opened the package yet, so let's open it together, shall we? And this is Something Gone by Joanne He. It's the sequel to Strike the Zyther, which I actually don't know when, where it went. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but this is what it is. So again, I also got this book to, once again, this is also the Second Santa, it was a part of the Sleep Under the Stars. The Sleep in the Sea of Stars, the, you know, that dark navy blue. And I have not yet read this book yet, so, yeah. And once again, I have a package that is not yet open, so let's open it. And it is Morgan is my name. I believe this is the retail of Morgan Lee Fay. I don't know, for some reason she's like my favorite character in the King Arthur legend. Which is not true. I wish the most Camelot never existed, so 
I don't know, when I found that out, I was so sad for sure. There was like a real legend story kind of thing, so... I don't know, I felt really disappointed. <laughs> but, I'm excited to be Morgan Le Fay, so... This is fun. So I'm like way at the bottom over here. Let's just close this now. So this is my final shelf. It's like all my graphic novels, manga, which I'm not really gonna touch just because. And I have like photography and like a Historia from Legend of Zola, Highland Historia. And so yeah, I did read most of them. Um, these are the only books I did not read that I have not even read White and Blue. I'm thinking of actually unholding it. I'm never gonna read it, so. And I have a receipt. When did I buy this? Wow, 2019. I think that says a lot. <laughs> and the receipt is like so faded, like, it's probably out of the printer or the paper itself. So, I have not yet read Clementra. I'm never gonna get to it. And the Kingdom of Sweets, which is supposed to be like a Nutcracker retail. I love Nutcracker, so I need to give it butt women. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for this show. Uh, let's see what we have down here. It's a mess. So, really, I have not yet read Ace of Spades, and my newest edition is Voyage of the Dead. Look how pretty the Spade Edges is. This is honestly the beautiful book I have ever owned, in all honesty. So, you guys are gonna be shocked when you see the inside of it because I was shocked too. Are you ready? Look at it. Do you see the shine? Dude, this is honestly a gorgeous, gorgeous book. I mean, look at the spine. The spine edges. Yes. <laughs> this is so, so pretty. Oh, and look at the inside. Y'all, like, bro. How can you not like that? Honestly, beautiful. It's so shiny. Huh. Love it. And I think that's it. I'm really from my closet. It's the forgotten girls I have not yet read, so. Yeah. We're gonna see how much books I have that is not read. So I counted my books. I actually have 25 of my physical TVR that's not been read yet. I think that's pretty good. So, good job. <laughs> I thought that would be a lot bigger considering how much books I have that have not been touched yet. I'm kind of looking in here. Oh, I missed Throne of the Fallen, which is, that's going to be 26. There's also books that never burn, or what we call it. That's also 27, but I, also, I might also unhold that book, because it's not going anywhere. So, yeah. And I have the search buddy, so that's 27 bucks, actually. Like, I'm looking in my column of my makeshift tripod, so... 27, that's still not bad. Um, but yeah, I think I'm really turning it down, so good for me. Every time I buy books, I always, um, you know, after buying books, I just make sure to... Kind of pull out what I have for my bookshelf and go from there. So, yeah. Um, but this was like a fun video. I kind of like doing these videos. So, I might also do a video on me organizing my bookshelf because meaning room. <laughs> and unfortunately, as pretty as this is, it's not sustainable. Unfortunately. So, yeah. So, yeah. Let me know how much books you have still need to read and. If you like this, please like, comment, subscribe, so you'll be notified every time I post, and I will see you on my next one. Bye!